Hello, my name is Giles Mooney and I'm one of the directors of Absolute Accounting Software. We produce tax software for people to file online, both individuals and firms of accountants. And unlike the revenue software, our software can be used to file land and property pages, capital gains tax, ministers of religion, non-residency and partnership pages, as well as the more standard submissions. Shortly I'll be handing over to Sarah Murray, our support director, and she'll take you through how to prepare and also file using our top-up software. But first of all, I'd like to show you how to download the software from the internet. The first thing to do is to go to our website, which is www.absolutetax.co.uk. On the left-hand side of the screen, click on the section entitled Doing Your Own Return. This page is a mine of information. It tells you how to download, how much the software costs, what our support services are, and also has a first-time user guide available. But our first step is to download the software. You'll find this option at the bottom of the page. Click on Download a Free Trial. If Run is an option, we recommend you click Run and follow the on-screen prompts. If not, you should save the file somewhere easy to find, perhaps on your desktop. On your desktop, you should now see a file called installtopup.exe. Double-click on the file to start the installation. Whether you followed Run or installed manually, you should now see the top-up icon on your desktop. The next step is to pay for the licenses you need. We charge £5 plus VAT per return, with a minimum purchase of five licenses. So for £25 plus VAT, you can file five returns in any tax year. To buy, click on the Purchase Your Licence button back on our website, which brings up the following page. Fill in the details of how many licences you'd like to buy. Click Add to Order. Now go to the top of the page and click on Show Order. And then click on Checkout. If you are a returning customer, enter your details here. If you can't remember your username or password, email us at sales at absolutetax.co.uk and we'll send you the missing information. If you are a new user, you'll need to fill in the information requested. If you are non-resident, please don't be put off by the request for a shipping address. Everything we send out is sent out via email. Once you've completed this process, you'll receive an email with your unlock code. Simply open the software, click on the settings icon, Go to the Licensing tab and enter the information from the email. And you're now ready to start using the software and I'll hand you over to Sarah who will show you how. Once the software has been installed, you need to double click on the top-up tax icon and it will then open up the following screen. The screen that you see is a list of clients. These are just demonstration clients that have been added to the software. To add yourself or your own client, you need to click on the left-hand side of the screen and select New Client. A screen will be shown here where you need to select Individual, Partnership or Company. Once you've selected the type of client, you just click OK here and the following screen will open. You need to go through and select the client code, that is just for internal purposes, enter a UTR number, a tax office, date of birth, gender, marital status, spouse's date of birth and the name and address of either yourself or your client and click on save at the bottom of the screen. On the left hand side of the screen you will then need to click on new tax return. The current tax year that we're in is 2012-13 so if you leave that as it is and then select OK it will then add a tax return for that year. You then need to click on list tax returns on the left hand side of the screen. The following screen will appear you need to highlight and then click on View Edit Tax Return 2012-13. This then opens up the tax return programme. As you can see, there is a tree down the left-hand side of the screen that you just need to work through, completing the information as applicable to yourself. So, for example, if there is employment pages, you can click on Add New Employment, enter the employer's name, click OK, and then just go through and complete the tabs. At the bottom of the screen, you will need to enter if there's any taxable pay, any tax that's been deducted, and as it says, all of this information will be shown on your P60. Once you are happy that you've completed all the information, you need to tick Completed in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. It does validate as it goes along, so it's telling me here I have not entered a PAYE reference. If I go back to the first screen, I need to enter it here, otherwise it will cause a rejection for online filing. 
Once again, you're just moving through the tabs on the left hand side of the screen. So for example, if I'm a sole trader, I need to click on add new sole trader, enter the name of my business, click OK, and go through completing the tabs along the top of the screen. So for example, income and expenditure. If the income is below 77,000, all I need to do is tick this box here, enter a turnover figure here, which must be below the £77,000 limit, enter any other income and any applicable expenses also go in that box there. Again, once you've completed a section, you must tick the completed box in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, I've got UK property. To add a UK property, I must click on the Add button. It brings up the following screen. You need to enter which type of income, be it furnished, unfurnished, etc., and then select OK. Then brings up the following screen where you would enter an address. And again, you're just moving through the tabs at the top of the screen. So, for example, you'd enter the rent received, any tax that's been deducted, and you would then click on Save at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, you have a line for each property that is entered, but it does total it at the bottom of the screen. Again, you tick the box to say completed and a green tick would appear on the left hand side of the screen. So it really is just a case of working down the left hand side of the screen, completing the tabs that are relevant to yourself, such as foreign, dividends, etc. If I just go into the dividend section, to add any dividends, again, you click on Add at the bottom of the screen. You select the company name from the drop-down. You would enter the number of dividends that were held and click on Get Dividends. This then completes the following screen so that you can just click on Save. If I was trying to add a dividend and it wasn't in this drop-down menu, if you click on the ellipse button to the right of the drop down arrow, click on add at the bottom of the screen. You can go through enter the amount, enter the date that the dividend was paid plus the nominal amount and then you just save that to the database and again as before you would enter the number held, select get dividends and it would complete the following screen for you and then you would just click on save at the bottom. Again, if I have completed a section, I must tick the completed box so that it puts a green tick on the left-hand side of the screen. Another common section that is completed is the non-residence pages. On the left-hand side of the screen, they're called resident status. So this is just a case of going through, ticking the boxes that are relevant to yourself, and then again, there's the tab along the top if you're resident outside the UK, and based on the information that you have completed in this section, it will then pick up the information and complete the relevant boxes on the um, HMRC tax return for you. Once you're happy with all the information on the left-hand side of the screen, you must go to the personal allowances section. So within here, you can enter the spouse's name, you can say if you wish to receive married couples allowance, or even if married couples allowance is applicable, and then again, you tick the completed box. The very last section that you need to go to is called finishing the return. So within here, the software will tell you the total tax that is due to be paid over to HMRC, any payments on account that are due. If You can also enter if you've made any payments on account towards the final payment on account. And then again, you must tick the completed box here. Once you are happy that the return has been completed, You've got these icons in the top left hand corner of the screen. The third one from the left is the tax calculation. If you click on the tax calculation here, it will then open up the following screen. And as you can see, it will give you a list of all the information that you have completed, along with the figures. It will tell you the amount of tax that is due using the HMRC guidance, plus any tax relief that you are due. At the bottom, it will also deduct any payments that you've already made towards your final bill. And then it will tell you the balance that is due and when the amount is due as well. Once you've done that, you can also do a printout of the return or you can do a print preview. 
and that is just by the print option in the top left hand corner of the screen. So if I go to this window here and click on print, the first thing it will do is preview that return on screen. Okay, so as you can see, this is the HMRC return completed based on the entries that you have made within the program. So you can view a particular section by just clicking on the relevant page. So this brings up the employment pages, or if I wanted to see any of the backing schedules, for example, the property information, I can click on it and it will bring up this window here. So this is what gets transmitted to HMRC. So all of the information is lifted from the return and sent directly to HMRC. You can either print this off or you can produce a PDF. Before you can file online to HMRC, you must have registered on the HMRC website for a Government Gateway user ID and password, which they will send through the post. Once you have received this, you must open our software, click on the settings icon along the top of the screen, then move to the online filing tab and enter the user ID and password as shown on the document. If this is entered incorrectly, the HMRC will reject the return. Once you have entered the credentials, you highlight the client that you wish to file to the revenue. Click on list tax returns again. Highlight the 12-13 year because that is the current year that I wish to file and then click on view edit tax return. Once that has brought the return on screen, I click on the second icon from the left hand side of the screen and select online filing. This will then bring up the following screen. The first thing I do is click on next and then click on validate. This will validate the return to make sure that there are no errors or omissions. As you can see, the reason it is not allowing me to file is because it is saying I have not validated a particular section and marked it as completed. The section that it is telling me is partnership, A standard test partnership. I need to click OK, close out of the online filing window, move back to the partnership section, and put a tick in the completed box in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You will need to do this for anyone that doesn't have a green tick against the section that you have completed. Once you have done that, if I click on online filing again, again, select next, and then validate, it has now passed the validation screen. All I now need to do is click on next in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now you must print the tax return either to a printer so that you have a hard copy or to a PDF before the return will move to the next section. So I'm just going to select PDF. Now you don't have to do this all in one go so I could leave it at that stage, close out of the return and close out of the program and go back in it will still be at this stage. But I'm just going to go through it all in one go. So at this point I would now click next. Now you must enter a date of approval and then click on validate date. Once it has validated it, I click on next here. Now if at any point you remember that you forgot to add a particular entry or you forgot to add some information to the return, you can click on this reset button here and it will remove all of the status for the particular tax return. You can then go back to the left hand side of the screen make the entry and then go through the process again. If I click on next here, it will then take me to the following screen. So I'm going to click on submit and if this wasn't in demo mode, the return would be filed to HMRC. It would then go to the HMRC and then an acceptance or rejection would complete the window and at the bottom of the screen it should tell me that it was accepted for HMRC. Once you then close out of the system, it will then pop up with the window and if the return is at any stage of online filing, you will not be allowed to make any changes. So I'm just going to click OK here, close out of the return and again it will tell you the online filing status. Once the return has been accepted, you can close the return down and it will take you back to the following screen. And it should tell you here, accepted by HMRC. It will also put the date that the return was accepted. So that is how easy it is to file a return using our software to HMRC. If you would like any further information, please visit our website www.absolutetax.co.uk and visit the page on the left hand side of the screen called Doing Your Own Return. If you need any help, please email support at absolutetax.co.uk and anybody in our team will be able to help you.